Good morning, cultists. Welcome to a brand new breakfast with Cthulhu's. Today, we're going to start a brand new series of Stellaris. This is also one of my <laughs> favorite games. Um, I seem to be exhibiting a pattern where I just like anything made by Paradox. Not, not exactly. I, I'm not. I'm still pretty bad at uh, Europa Universalis 4. I'm getting a little better at it. I'm getting in my hours and practicing a little bit. And I'm also not that good at Stellaris. I've actually never won a game of Stellaris, but how do you win, how do you define winning in a grand strategy game like Stellaris? Really, I mean, how do you define when you've won? You can't. You can certainly define when you lost, which I've done plenty of. I've been wiped off the face of the uh, galaxy, <laughs> so I guess uh, I guess I can lose. But um, let's try to win this time. We're playing version 1.31, which is the Heinlein patch. And we're also playing with the um, Leviathan Story Pack. I've got a couple mods on as well. Um, most notably the UI Overhaul mod, which is, which I guess is kind of made for more 1080p resolutions. And I think it's the um, Pop Modifier Color mod or something. You'll see it later in the game. And I'll uh, be sure to point it out. We're going to be playing as the Great Old Ones, or um, an empire that I kind of like generated before starting this uh, episode. They are... because... I, I, I can't really call myself Cthulhu without um, having some sort of homage or tribute to the... Uh, to Cthulhu. So we're the race of Cthulhu, which are actually the star spawn of Cthulhu. They are either his progeny or just devout worshippers who followed him around in space and until he, you know, came to Earth, and it's, I believe it's a Cthulhu that actually built um, Rilje, the city in the, the ocean. We're a divine mandate because we spend all our time worshipping Cthulhu, which is why we're also fanatic sp spiritualists. It, it makes sense. Just all of our spare time, and even the time that we don't have to spare, we spend uh, worshipping Cthulhu. Also, uh, terrific xenophobes. I mean, not not fanatic xenophobes, but we're xenophobes nonetheless, because um, well, we just don't like other races. We didn't like the humans when they were around. We didn't like other alien races. We didn't like the um, the elder things, right? So we waged war on them and all that stuff. And so we also don't like outsiders coming into our territory because if they do, um, we we just yell at each other, tell each other to spread out and search the area. Which is a reference to uh, Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Where if you're, um, if, if you've ever played that, you'll know that when you're in Innsmouth and you're sneaking around the town, um, the locals will often just yell at each other and tell each other to spread out and search the area. <laughs> We're repugnant because um, it, it kind of goes hand in hand with the xenophobic stuff, you know. We're ugly. Uh, octopus, fish-like monsters. Although I think the uh, I, I love octopus. I, I love the way that they look and uh, whatnot. We're sedentary because we spend all our time sleeping, um, just like Cthulhu does. And we're industrious and thrifty simply <laughs> because they're really good traits. And I think the little boost to um, resources should definitely come in handy. We're using nuclear missiles because the backstory of Rilje is actually this is the planet Earth that has been taken over by Cthulhu. He finally woke up from his sleep. He decided his, uh, you know, millennia old nap was kind of enough. He woke up and with him, we conquered Earth. We drove out the humans. Some of them escaped and I believe they formed a new empire somewhere else in the, either in this galaxy or some other galaxy, who knows? We don't, we, we don't talk about it much. But so this is Earth and we've taken over their, all their technology, which is why we have access to their nuclear missiles and whatnot. We're using wormhole travel because I I think I prefer it over everything else, kind of. Uh, although it is much easier to warp around, I guess. Or you can do hyperspace, but yeah, wormhole just seems to be the best in terms of strategy. So yeah, let's start as the Empire of the Great Old Ones. And we're going to keep the stars uh, galaxy size to medium um if i get good feedback about the series and once i complete it i'll actually try a huge huge uh, galaxy and kind of have a longer campaign with that go with the elliptical um 
everything default for the most part, except for maybe clustered stars starts because I want the um, galaxies to be or empires to be a little bit more spread apart rather than starting too close that way we have a little bit more room to breathe and expand and whatnot and by the time we kind of meet each other we may be in a state where um, I think war might be more more frequent this is my guess because I when you start out like right next to each other it's kind of like an arms race and by the time you get to a point where it's like everyone's like super strong you're more or less equally matched, except for some of the AA that's set with, um, you know, advanced uh, technologies and whatnot. So we'll go with that, and I think we'll actually leave Iron Man mode off because I did try recording with Iron Man mode on. So this isn't my first uh, attempt at recording this game. I did try to uh, try it with Iron Man mode on, and the issue is that kept auto saving like every month and it just interrupted the flow of the game so much it was really getting on my nerves and I just can't have it on because of that single reason if I could change the auto save frequency like maybe every year like Crusader Kings 2 that would be absolutely fantastic or even like every like twice a year which is fine because I think that's the way that Iron Man mode works in the Crusader Kings 2 so we'll leave it off which is unfortunate because I was planning to get some achievements and whatnot, but that's that's fine. I'll just do that on my own time. Um, so the goal for this playthrough is actually to um, at least destroy one fallen empire. Maybe not both, but at least destroy one and take it over, um, and then establish ourselves as a new not fallen empire, but you know ascended beings and all that. So that's kind of the goal for this. 47 minutes into the video and I've been just rambling on non-stop, so let's start. Okay, we'll ignore this little blur because this isn't actually true. Uh, our, our backstory is, um, we don't want to ad advertise it too much, so... We just came up with this propaganda of nonsense and bullshit, so, just so the other races think that that's, that's what happened, but it's not. You guys know the truth. We'll start off with, uh, I was kind of hoping we'd go with something a little better but fine yeah let's go with a solar panel network let's go with the uh, colony ships and then we will also go with uh, yeah mining fantastic okay we'll get our science ship to start surveying this moon and we are playing in the Sol galaxy because again we took over earth and all that stuff we'll go to Barnard star We'll go to Alpha Centauri, Bidge, Sirius, Proxy, Pro Proxion, Procyon? I don't know, whatever. We'll go to that star. Or we'll just basically explore all the, all this crap around us. Whoa, look at that uh, lens flare. I think they're taking their cues from uh, JJ Abrams. And now I'm blind, fantastic. All right, let's get started. So I'll play with, um, on the uh, fastest speed just until we kind of like have a better idea of or just until we get a little bit more established we'll slow things down as necessary rather than just arbitrarily alpha centauri has an ocean world which is fantastic anomaly found we'll leave that anomaly for now because i don't like that failure risk it seems a little high for me Anomaly found. That's even higher. Come on, guy. Can we build a mining station there? Yes, we can. And yes, we will. Whoa. I forget how many, um... Moons Jupiter has. Maybe we leave those alone. We have encountered the Alpha Menace in Rastaban, the Rastaban system. Where are you guys? Rilia is in an uproar following the news of an unidentified ships. Following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void, their tensions unknown. It would be prudent to assume the worst. What are you guys? Oh, I, I do apologize for the brightness. Holy crap, that is so bright. It was like literally staring into the sun. Our sun, not that not that star. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something you need to rule yet. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn 
more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. A commendable initiative. Situation log updated. Fantastic. Construction complete. I do apologize if I uh, kind of trip over my words today. I'm, I don't know what's happening. System it's just complete. my tongue's a little tied today. It's one of those days, you know. Get a mining ship or mining station on Io. And my science ship is uh, thinks that it's done. So let's have you explore a little bit more around here. And survey the... Oh, I guess these guys are done, right? Yeah, you're done. So go back to the rule, yeah. And let's start exploring all this other stuff once you're done with the two habitable um, solar systems. And then burn out star, I guess. Construction complete. What have you constructed? Oh, okay, I see. You're a mining ship. Right, of course. Anything to do on Rilia besides, uh, yeah, let's get a mining sh uh, network. Let's get a hydroponic farm and then a power plant. Maybe not the best order, but that's fine. It's whatever. It's cool. Can I click anything to... No, I can't. I have to manually click on that button. What a shame. I should be able to single click that thing and to get it to clear. System survey complete. Let's get another mining station on whatever planet or I do apologize, whatever celestial body is harboring the minerals. Hmm. Anomaly found. Is there anything I could be doing in the meantime? I guess maybe working on some Corvettes, though I do need to save up money to be able to make that colony ship as soon as it's researched. 35 months, I think I should have enough time to um, to build back my resources. I'm assuming. I'm trying to do that math complete. in my head and I System failed. Survey complete. Can't do it. Just can't do it. Serious is... That planet is actually looking like crap. Yeah, I think... Complete. Off of Centauri, the first might be a little better. It's not amazing. It's got three mineral total, which is terrible. It says four mineral in total, which is system <laughs> complete. barely better. Ah, oh, shit. This might not be a good start for us. Damn it. At least we have uh, more Corvettes to console us with. But construction ship, let's actually get you. Okay, so we're on the bottom right edge of the uh, solar or the galaxy here. Let's build a wormhole station. Maybe build it over there. And then... Let's also get one going here. Ah, uh, I thought I would get that right, but no. Just off. System survey All right. complete. Hmm... What do I want to colonize first though? Oof. They're both crap. They're both such crap. I guess... Uh, I guess Sirius is slightly better. Complete. Yeah, slightly better, I guess. Uh, but Alpha Centauri does have better food. Which means I'll need to... Uh, I won't need to worry about it as much. It can build more mining networks and whatnot there. Hmm. What a shame. What a shame. Construction complete. Athuna. Okay, that's right, that's my construction ship. Uh can you System in fact complete. go there? Into the Forbidden Nebula. And then maybe build another wormhole station there? Fantastic. Anomaly found. Yeah, these anomalies are just getting much harder. And then once you're done there, we'll have you go down here maybe and build another wormhole station there. Construction complete. Although let's uh let's round this off and build a wormhole station there maybe. 
Although, hmm... I probably won't need this wormhole station once I get the wormhole um, border increase System technology. Complete. Research complete. We'll go with... Ah, go with the... Research hmm, complete. 30 months. We'll go with the power plants. Yeah, well, let's do that. So let's go next with the bio lab. And then the uh, defense platform, I guess. Not super necessary, but that's that's all right. Let's get a um, spaceport going, or let's get a uh, colony ship going. And as we agreed upon, we will colonize it using um, or use it colonize uh, Alpha Centauri the first. Ah, uh, what's a good place? Nowhere's a good place, honestly. I, yeah, nowhere's a good place, because this planet just sucks! But we'll go there. Construction complete. Alright, and you are done there, my friend. So we'll have you building a wormhole station here. Hello? If I, I can't. I can't. Because I need to actually see what's there before I can do so. And we're gonna have the birth of space piracy and all that very soon, meaning that we should anomaly found. make more corvettes. More anomalies, fantastic. Can't really do anything about it. So I don't think I'll be doing too much with the spaceship designer, simply because I'm not that good at it. I don't really know enough to be able to make informed decisions on uh, how to construct my ship. I know before like the 1.2 patch and the Heinlein and whatnot, um, the strategy was to just spam corvettes, and I don't Anomaly. think that's uh, viable anymore. Oh wow, 7% chance, let's complete. go with it. Although, knowing my luck, he's probably gonna fail. But, we'll try anyways. Colony ship is ready, and it is moving to... Alpha Centauri. Get you building a wormhole station there, my friend. The First League, we have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on... Bidge the Fourth. If what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, this civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Although the Bidge system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory, a partial map found along among the artifacts indicates that this First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before its eventual collapse. Interesting. So I guess that's the uh, yeah the precursor Situation event change. Updated. Did I say event change? I meant event chain. My bad. Our colony ship has made a gentle splashdown in the planet-spanning ocean of uh, Alpha Centauri Prime, just off the shores of a large archipelago. This fertile island change will chain will serve as an excellent first landing site. The ship has already has been permanently anchored in preparation for its conversion into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement. Its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up on the islands surrounding the former starship's massive hull as colonists began to disembark in large numbers. The first Cthulhu city on an alien world. A great day for the great old ones. Fantastic. So then we're gonna get the birth of space piracy very soon. So let's get our corvettes in order. Although we are in an over our energy limit, which is kind of a shame. Can we build some more? No, we can't. We can get rid of these though. Let's System survey complete. do that and build more energy stuff. Okay, system survey is complete. Cool. So next you'll survey those complete. and we will have you survey Rimok. Because it appears to have a habitable planet. Where will the space pirates form, I wonder? Hmm. Let's actually have you guys start exploring a little bit more too. Yeah. Colony 
established. Although I'm sure the Birth of Space Piracy thing will kind of interrupt me. Which is fine. Found. It's fine. It's not the pirates' fault. They were just, you know, fantastic. And it's in where the space, the, the science ship is. A large group of faithless criminals from Rilia have illegally converted a number of civilian starships into weapons of war. Operating on the fringes of our space, these heretics have started calling themselves Fire Reavers and are responsible for several attacks against sh uh, civilian shipping lanes. Their profane activities must not be allowed to continue. Yes, that's correct. So let's get over here to... Uh, wherever this is. Poldebana. Where are you guys going off to? You're going off to Station Alpha Centauri, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. yeah, jerks. Don't worry, we're, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. And you are destroying my mining station. Yep. Cool beans. Hostile fleet engaged. The coolest of beans. Slow this down and watch this magnificence. Oh, look at you. Oh, look, they even have uh, skulls and crossbones on their ships. That's really cool. Although it looks nothing like our ship design. I can't believe uh, that our civilians would make these kind of like horrible looking um, ships. Uh, we lost one ship, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But let's reconstruct that mining station there. And my science ship is... okay. They're done, I guess. i you exploring all this other crap. Wait, wait. No. Rimok, that's where that's where I wanted you to explore first. And then we'll have you Since you're already gonna be there. Let's have you exploring the other stuff. Fantastic. Although there's a good chance I'll probably run into something that'll you know make them run with their Construction tails complete. between their legs. Do our species have tails? I don't think we do. Hostile fleet I don't think we do. And their little asteroid outpost is about to go kaputski. There we go, fantastic. Cardiac arrest, is that the name of your wormhole station? That's hilarious. Hostile fleet engaged. That's pretty damn funny, cardiac arrest. Huh. I mean, heart attacks are no laughing matter, but System survey the fact that uh, their wormhole station is named Cardiac Arrest is quite funny. Quite funny. Mm. Actually, yeah, let's instead, let's redirect you to, um, to these uh, special projects here. No, let's go with Alpha Centauri first, and then to Holdabana. And then while you're there, we'll have you survey it. And then we'll have you survey the rest of the stuff over here, this side. A lot of back and forth, I know. I should be a little bit more efficient with my, um... With my stuff, but... Ah, well. You can blame me all you want. It's Research fine. Complete. I'm used to it. Let's get some hydroponic farms and whatnot. Debris. Fantastic. Let's get a... Hmm. What do I want? Let's go with the minerals. And here, let's go with the... Yeah, energy upgrade. Fantastic. So again, Sirius is not that great, whereas uh, Rimok may be a little better. Yeah, it is a little better, and it has low gravity as well, which is really cool. Let's actually start getting a new colony over here, maybe? Debris mm. Construction complete. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll actually wait until we have a little bit more Systems understanding of our... Uh, surrounding systems, and we'll get another science ship going too. 
Construction ship, what are you doing? You're not doing anything right now, which is complete. fine. Because he didn't really ask you to do anything. Um, we'll go with this guy who is maniacal. And actually, he can probably replace someone else doing society research and whatnot. So let's... Yeah, and let's have... Yeah, that way it's a little bit better in terms of um, research speed and all that, maximizing efficiency. Let's have you surveying all this stuff. Cool, cool, cool. And that's that's that. That's that section. And he'll explore this section. If you could do that a little faster, make things a little bit more interesting, that'd be absolutely peachy. System survey. Complete. But if not, I understand. That's limitations of your of your nature, I guess. Research complete. Ooh, this place has a lot of minerals. That could be interesting. All right. Well, let's increase our naval capacity. That's always welcome. Anomaly found. Giving you anomaly. anomaly? Found. Have another anomaly. Fantastic. And let's actually create more Corvettes. Just so we're ready in the... Uh, there we go, eventually that we meet more aliens. We've met the Delta Menace. The Alpha Menace. Hmm. 12 months of society research. Yeah, sure, let's do it. And then research that right after as well. Ultimatus, who are you guys? Are you guys the Tianki? Oh, you guys are the Tianki! Space whales! System survey complete. Okay. Construction complete. What did you construct? Oh, the Abyssal Flotilla. Okay, you added to it. Fantastic. Let's start upgrading this stuff. We need to get more energy right now, so... You guys can... Build more of that. And then we'll have you... Hmm. You have detected presence of a... The presence of a primitive alien civilization on that planet. In that system. They have entered the early steam age and there's clear evidence that they are beginning to make use of both vehicles and early factories powered by steam engines. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Yeah, we would, except it's gonna cost us like a frontier outpost, which, you know, Special project isn't complete. cheap. Void clouds. Of cloud, reads the odd report, uh, collated from multiple sources. Like a cloud of luminous star stuff billowing in the dark, the report goes on to refer to the phenomenon somewhat poetically as a void cloud. It is evident to the priesthoods of the Great Old Ones that these clouds are heralds animated by some higher will. Exactly who or what this belongs to, or this will belongs, is the subject of heated debate and is likely to remain so for the foreseeable future. Until such time as the void cloud's true nature can be ascertained, it would be perhaps, it would perhaps be prudent to treat the immense power evident in its rolling motion with some caution. We will study it. Situation log updated. And anomaly. we'll study that anomaly as well. If you guys could find me some more um, habitable planets, that'd be fantastic. The survey of Media 4 has revealed that certain regions of the planet are home to a primitive alien proto-civilization. Our probes show that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language, but we have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communication. Interesting. Ooh. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Rillie. The public is enthralled and many donations have come in to aid the continued search of strange life forms. So it appears that despite being... Um, uh, xenophobic, we are fascinated by alien creatures. 
Solar Sailor. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship on in orbit around Polgara 7. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tier where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive design. Fantastic. So we'll leave it off here and come back again in the next episode, but I uh, do hope you guys are enjoying this new series. I plan to um, do a lot more with Stellaris and uh, bring you guys a lot more um, this awesome game, which I really like. I know the community is kind of di um, divided between people who like Stellaris and people who don't. It's, it does seem to be... Mm, I don't know. The, the game does appear to be getting a lot better, because I played a little bit with the Leviathan story pack and the uh, new Heinlein patch, and a lot of the old things that used to bother me are have been fixed. Um, but again, we'll see how, uh, how it all develops. So, thank you very much for watching, and have a good breakfast!